Mike, you're 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 striking at the heart of this tension between science and faith that exists in art, right? You know, the science part yeah. is the craft. The faith is the inspiration. And I like that and I want to make clear, I want to stress that your 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 sort of brief here with this book is not the the science part necessarily. It's not you know, you're not sitting there chomping on a cigar and saying, I'm gonna show you how to write a hit song, Junior. You know, it's more about how to navigate the waters of yes. uh, creative life. And it made me think the last time you and I talked was in 2011. Uh-huh. And we talked a little bit about how your recording career started at a really weird moment. Um, the industry was just changing <laughs> yes. a lot. Uh, yes. and, and you found yourself after one major label album in a position of being, uh, well, you didn't, you weren't forced to do so, but you took the leap and you decided to navigate this emerging new indie landscape, uh, by yourself. And I think in the, in our interview, uh, t- 10 or so years ago, you, uh, compared it to being in a rowboat at sea. Mm-hmm. It, you know, in that it's, it's very, uh, there's a lot of freedom associated with it, but you, it's really hard to figure out where the fuck to go. And, yeah. um, I, I like that there are echoes of that in, in what seems to be the motivation behind this book. Um, you know, giving, giving people a, a map to something that is really pretty unmappable, especially yeah. now. I, I, I read you talking about your students um, coming in to visit you in office hours and sometimes there's tears and I can understand why this is a really fraught moment yeah. to even give more than two minutes of thought to embarking on uh, creativity as a profession. It, it's really, you've got to be partly insane, I think. And so um, this, this is a really useful text. And, and I, Thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you took the, the tack that you did. You know, I think, like you said, yeah. there are enough things about how to write a song. This is more. Yeah. How do I how do I how do I uh, live with myself as an artist? Hmm. Yeah. Well, thank you. I, 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 I really appreciate that. I, I also uh, the other thing that's I think works actually <laughs> works in my favor or the book's favor is that I am not so well known that you're going to get war stories right mm. yeah. so like there are other there are other sort of songwriting books like the i mean fantastic books like you know how music works by david byrne sure right, right. yeah uh, fantastic right. some of the great chapters and like i i quote it occasionally in the book um but there's a lot of like he has to get into talking heads. You can't not get into talking heads a little <laughs> bit or like his Imelda Marcos play or whatever, you know, like, and I have loved so much of his stuff, but like, I wanted a, I wanted, I wanted to free base the, mm. uh, the real how like, music, how works. music works, you know, yeah. like it's not how the talking heads work, you know, like, which is a great, that's another, you know, make a, make a book about that too. Sure. Um, but so this one, I didn't, I, you know, I was able to just do that, you know, to just get right in, you know, and talk about things like, you know, the, the reasons behind things like song form or, or repetition or being lost, like, just like what, what, what you said. Um, cause I think being lost is basically 80% of <laughs> the life, you know, right. um, you start a song, you don't know where it ends. So hmm. technically you're lost, you know? So the anxiety that comes out of that and the management of the anxiety becomes a huge part of the game because it's right there when you start the song and you don't know how it ends that you can lose faith, you know, or you can hmm. lose, um, you can lose the mojo of this whole thing. You know, uh, you forget that it's play. You forget that if you step somewhere, you're not going to fall in you know in to your death you know what i mean um <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so just chilling out in in that kind of way is a lot of what i have to do in office hours you know because it's like you know i've made a draft but is it the right draft you know and it's just like chill just chill you have to left foot in front of right make the small move the good move and then take another look you know the sidewalk will appear you know that kind mm. of that right. kind of stuff and it's and it's it's much less 
I you know I I give sort of I troubleshoot a little bit in the in the book for people, but like really it's it's a mindset that I wanted to wanted to get to. And right. I didn't see it on the shelf anywhere else. You know, there was no other book that was doing that. So I was like, well, that's why I couldn't find it. So <laughs> time to write it, you know. 